a revolutionary greetings comrades it's interesting the debate that uh, <coughs> is happening on social media platforms in respect to the presence of migrants in south africa uh, and and we think that uh, we might not have or we are not doing justice to the discussion in that, for instance, when the first outbreaks of violence directed at migrants occurred in 2008, a number of social movements emerged, and their key mission was to educate South Africans about the push factors. In other words, the reasons why migrants are leaving their own country, their own countries. And this discussion did not focus by these social movements, which includes ourselves, in understanding the economic conditions of South Africans. And this debate about the presence of migrants is not unique to South Africans. It's a, it's a discussion that is happening everywhere. Because you are dealing with what to refer as international migration, where different nationalities cross borders to one country or to a particular country. But you also have, which we have seen in a number of African countries, which also leads to outbreaks of violence, to what you call internal migration, <clears throat> where people in the case of Zimbabwe will migrate from Manikal and Maswingo to Bulawayo. And then they are viewed as outsiders in Bulawayo. And those in Bulawayo then feel that they've been disempowered by the bringing in or the migration of others from different provinces in Zimbabwe. And we have seen in Nigeria and in other countries. By then labeling groupings that have emerged of course, there are, there are right-wing formations. We'll discuss about them some other time. But by labeling, South Africans were feeling the impact of the economy where unemployment is rising <coughs> and the majority are not benefiting from the economy. We then label them anti-migrants. It simply means we are closing off dialogue. And this is what is happening on social media, where then there are these attacks. What we have not done, and which we must take criticism as communists, is that we have not provided a scientific analysis on why we find ourselves in different countries in Africa and in South Africa in particular why the economy is not benefiting the majority of the people and this of course has its roots in colonialism and also post-colonialism in the introduction of uh, structural adjustment programs in South Africa here was basically a, an economic structure adjustment program in a different name. But the objectives were the same, like in any other African country. And these a, a structure adjustments program have not benefited the majority of citizens. So when the economy is not performing, the national question, or should we say, the first component in the national question, as presented by Comrade Stalin, the question of belonging, becomes the critical question, which dominate the public discourse. To say, no, you are not South African, you are a migrant, go back. Or no, you are not from Bulawa, you are from Maswingo, go back. It's now about who belongs. If you don't belong here, you should not work here. If you are to work here, you must have a special skill. 
And in this brief video, we are saying we need, as we continue with this discussion, to provide a scientific analysis on why our economies are performing in the manner they are doing to an extent that the majority feel excluded. And then be believing that if you deal with those that, that do not belong, <laughs> the question of belonging, those that do not belong, you are on the right path of ensuring that those that belong benefit from the, from the economy. And that is not accurate. But we cannot blame those that are raising those issues. We should be blaming ourselves. To say uh, we have taken a seat, we are, <laughs> we are nowhere to be seen in leading the discussion. In one of his conferences, the ANC had resolved, I can't remember which conference, but it resolved, that the ANC was going to lead, <coughs> ANC and its alliance partners, was going to lead in the question of migration, lead the discussion. <coughs> and, and of course, I'm not a member of ANC, I know that... Uh, <laughs> Some comrades have been saying, Comrade Mabena, why do you get yourself involved in South African politics? <laughs> we'll talk about this some other time. But when revolutionaries are not leading the discussion on migration, which now speaks to the question of belonging, and that if you drive out those that are seen not to belong, you will be, the economy will benefit everyone. It creates serious problems uh, uh, leading to the physical attacks because the majority of poor people will then understand that if this person who does not belong here was not here, I would be having a job. And for me to have a job, I must drive out this person who does not belong here, must be driven out to where they belong, then I'll have a job. But is that the solution? No. So we need to engage <coughs> on this question. Because the solution is on the transforming of our economies, transforming the productive sectors of our economy so that the majority of the people in our different countries benefit. In other words, the economy must be placed in the hands of a society as a whole. <coughs> that means we must dismantle the capitalist mode of production. It is not about driving out those who do not belong, but it is about transforming our economy. But, but of course, like, like I'm saying, uh, we need to engage on this because I see uh, 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 some <laughs> are now labeling South Africans as the anti-migrants and xenophobic and so forth and i'm saying we should be taking the blame that we are not providing the lead for the people to understand why the economy is not benefiting the majority of citizens to an extent that many who are victims from different countries in Zimbabwe or in South Africa will then focus on the question of belonging to say this person does not belong here this person must go back to their own place be it country or province if they go we will get jobs please share your views write in the comment section we will continue with this debate because it is indeed 
a, a necessary debate that we should have. If you are on TikTok, please do follow us. Otherwise, 